ABC's new series Rebel centers around the real life story of Aaron Brockovich. It stars Katie Seagal as the title character alongside co-star John Corbett, who plays her husband who stands on the sidelines holding things down at home. And this morning we're catching up with actor John Corbett live. Hey John, there he is. Hey, Sacramento, one of my favorite cities in California. Awesome, awesome. So, John, what are you most excited about with this series? And what's it like playing the role of a husband to a very strong-willed wife in Katie Seagal? Oh, it's a drag. It's a drag <laughs> because I like to be the boss in every relationship that I'm in. <laughs> and I don't get to be the boss in this one, man, because Katie's clearly wearing the pants and she's uh, it is loosely based on Aaron Brockovich who's a consultant on our show but we don't call Katie's character Aaron in this one uh, we call her her name's Annie Bello and we call her nickname her rebel and she is just she's knocking on your door until you answer it man I mean she's uh, she's just you know if you've been a fan of married with children and sons of anarchy Katie's somehow found a way to mesh those two characters together and uh, be a pain in the butt, but also uh, <laughs> put a lot of humor into it. And uh, yeah, it's just a joy being on the set. You know, I haven't been on a big, a big network show since Northern Exposure, and that was 30 years ago. And you know, we're working for ABC Disney now, and so it's just it's fantastic to kind of be back in the show. Well, we're happy to have you back in the show and see you on our TV screens on ABC. Talk about what attracted you to this role. We talked to Katie last week, and she was talking about how it just kind of was a good fit for her when they approached her about it. Now, anything in your real life that also helps you relate to what you're doing on the show? Yeah, my real life um, um, of knowing Katie for the last 20 years, made it a, an easy decision because I didn't have to wonder if like, oh gosh, am I gonna like working with this person? And and are they a pain in the butt on a set? I, I knew a personality, so that was a plus. And, um, a, you know, been a big, Andy Garcia's never done a television show before. And I've been a big fan of his. He's the best thing in Godfather 3. I know everybody <laughs> will agree with that. And um, yeah, and Krista Barnoff, who created it, when she talked to me about the show, she said, well, everybody knows you as the guy you can count on, the nice boyfriend who's always showing up. And she said, you're not going to really do that here. You're going to be a pain, a pain in her side throughout the whole thing, like my ex-husband was. She, she kind of based me on him. And, uh, and so all those boxes got checked where I said, I've got to do this show. Well, that's awesome. And you've been pretty busy. You've been popping up on Netflix, All the Boys I've Loved Before. You were also in a recent feature, 47 Meters Down, Uncaged and In the Silence. I'm sure you're recognized also a lot for my big fat Greek wedding. What's been your favorite role to date? My favorite role to date was a movie that I think I had two or three lines in, and it was in the early 90s. It was a Western called Tombstone with Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell and guys like oh, Bill Paxton and, and Sam Elliott. Yeah, we're in this movie, and we were all out in Tucson, Arizona for the whole summer of 92, staying at a Holiday Inn and making this movie in the day and then being real cowboys at night, being, meeting in the hotel bar and staying up till 2 or 3 in the morning, having a few pops and then showing up at work. I mean, it's that is the most man uh, uh, energy <laughs> I've ever had in my life. Sounds and like it. Was it. The time, it was the time of my life. It was the time of my life, even though I uh, had, it was the thing I've said the least in, in a movie. It was, it, it, no, nothing will ever be like that again. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. And it has been great chatting with you. We know you have Rebel currently on ABC, so we'll be on the lookout for you on that and what's to come. You can watch Rebel airing Thursday nights here on ABC 10. It's in prime time at 10 p.m.